So for patients who have high blood pressure, for example, in addition to medications and lifestyle, um, we the, the one of the bigger one of the biggest dietary changes that, that may need to be, be made is um, reducing their sodium intake, their salt intake, in the course of uh, of a day, ultimately. So for um, for diabetics, the the the, the uh, sorry sorry for high blood pressure patients, that the guidelines say that they recommend less than two teaspoons of salt in the course of a day. So that's that's very little salt, and I feel like a lot of patients don't even. It's kind of hard to grasp what two teaspoons is like as well, you know. So I um, so I think for 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 my patients, I I generally tell them to take a look at the nutrition labels on um, on their food. Ultimately, um, the nutrition labels is, it shows. Uh, the amount or the percentage of sodium, and that's per serving. So we're looking for less than five percent sodium, and that's called low. That's low salt ultimately, but that's also per serving. So we want um, the patient to follow the, the the serving recommendation in order to adhere to that low salt, uh, the, the low salt um, part of their diet. However, if they have a you know low sodium can of soup, for example, and there are two servings in the can of soup and they, they end up having the whole thing, that's already like a normal amount of salt that they've got. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think following the serving size is very, very important. Um, uh, other things for diet, um, especially again with, with uh, impaired kidney function, um, and we have, there are some electrolyte problems that patients with impaired kidney function can develop. Um, the, the biggest one is uh, having a high potassium. And uh, potassium is pretty much in anything that we eat. Um, most most things have a good, uh, have uh, most of the uh, like fruits and vegetables have a, a pretty robust amount of potassium. But uh, unfortunately, patients with impaired kidney function may have a problem excreting that potassium. So as a result, we may have to put patients on like a lower potassium diet, um, and that to, that pretty much means to try to avoid foods like bananas, tomatoes, potatoes, a lot of stuff that people like, unfortunately. But at the same time, when I tell them what not to eat, I try to tell them what they can eat. So there are certain fruits and vegetables that have lower potassium, and that can help regulate their electrolytes as well.